C5M Super Galaxy, the biggest military cargo aircraft in the world. This thing has a length of 75 meters and it's 20 meters in height. And if you want to compare it to a building, it's about a six or seven story building. The wingspan of this aircraft is about 68 meters. The wing area of the C5M is 576 square meters. Anything heavy the US military needs to move around, they use this aircraft to do so. From tanks to other heavy objects that fit on pallets. When you look at this airplane, you think it's brand new, but it's not new at all. This airplane was originally named C5 and it was made in 1968 by the Lockheed Company, not Lockheed Martin because when this aircraft was designed, it was Lockheed by themselves. And even though 54 years has passed from this aircraft's life, but it's extremely user-friendly, and the US military has no plans in replacing it with anything else. From 1968 all the way to 1989, 131 of these aircrafts were made. In the year 2002, the US military realized that these aircrafts are starting to get old and the technology is not up to modern standards. And that is why in the year 2002, Lockheed was already turned into Lockheed Martin and they had a new mission on file. And the mission was to recondition, or should I say restore 80% of the C5 aircrafts. The 80% of the aircrafts that were reconditioned changed their name and they're known as the C5M Super Galaxy aircraft and the ones that are not upgraded are still called the C5. This aircraft is like the F-22 and we have a clip of it on our other channel and by that we mean the US has not sold it to any other country. Obviously this thing doesn't have the capabilities and technology of the F-22. But in terms of not selling it to any other country, it's similar to the F-22. When Lockheed Martin was restoring these old aircrafts, they said when we're done with them, they're gonna be good until 2040. So when they're done, they're gonna be nearly 80 years old. The way this aircraft is designed is that the nose opens up all the way and a ramp comes down so you can start loading up. Even though all these aircrafts were reconditioned, it wasn't that expensive for the government. The project that made these aircrafts turn brand new cost about $454 million. And if you look at it, that's a great deal for the government. They reconditioned their C5 airplane and that was with the money of a few brand new aircraft. The C5M is a very efficient, reliable aircraft. Just like we said, it was $454 million to restore 80% of them. And the cost of using this aircraft is lower than any other. They're planning on using this aircraft for years to come without any plans of retiring it. Fighter jets, bombers, spy planes are extremely expensive to operate. And whenever they fly, it's gonna cost about a million dollars at least. But when you're using the C5M, it doesn't get pricey like that. It carries the heaviest object the military needs, and with the lowest cost possible, it gets to the destination. So how much can this aircraft actually handle? You could load about 127 tons in the back of this thing, and with all this weight, without needing refueling, it could travel for 3,450 kilometers. And for an aircraft that's carrying this much weight, it's very impressive.
Another positive thing about this aircraft is that even though it's an old aircraft, it's actually very fuel efficient. And when you compare it to other cargo aircrafts, it's one of the best. If you fill this thing all the way and want to take off, it will weigh about 381 tons. So if it's fully packed, 381 tons is lifting into the air. This heavy aircraft needs a lot of tires and that's why 28 of them are underneath this thing. So when it lands, it could handle it. When this aircraft was designed in 1968, everything was analog and that was one of the main reasons it needed upgrades. So when Lockheed Martin started restoring these things in 2002, they modernized everything and made it digital. When they turned everything digital, it's much easier to control everything while you're flying. And also, any issues that come up inside the aircraft, they get a warning light. And you could compare it to a check engine light on your car. The cargo area looks like a warehouse when you walk in. And the size is about 880 cubic meters. And that means 463 full pallets will fit in here. If it's trying to carry tanks, two M1 Abrams will fit inside. If they're trying to carry helicopters, six Apaches fit in here. And if it's trying to carry Humvees, meaning the Hummers that the military uses, you can fit 15 of them. You might ask, with all this room, why do they only carry two tanks? And that's because the M1 Abrams weighs 55 tons each. And when you add both of them together, it's 110 ton. The C5M can only carry 128 tons. So that means three tanks will not be able to fit in here. After it's carrying all that weight, you could put 72 personnel inside this thing as well. 